It is time to take a look at the cattle on feed report. The October numbers released today. We get all the details about what was really pretty much an in line with expectations report. Kyle Bumston joins us. And Kyle, what was, as you look at these numbers, no big surprises, but what was the breakdown? No, ma'am, there were no big surprises here. It's nothing earth shattering. And I don't look for this report in any way, shape or form to uh, affect the markets here on Monday. On feed going in, the estimate was 99.8, came in at 99.99. Placements, the estimate was 95.6, came in at 98.1%, a little bit more placements. And marketing's uh, estimate was 101.6, and it came in at 102%. So the only uh, thing I can really gather from this is just a very, very slow and steady decline in the placement numbers here, which really I don't think should have an effect here on those deferred contracts here. They kind of already traded that in here as of the 1st of uh, October. But getting kind of a breakdown here, uh, looking at things. Um, <clears throat> Placements during September were 2.16 million head, 2% below 2023. Net placements were 2.1 million head. Placements of cattle and calves weighing less than 600 pounds were 430,000 head. 6 to 699, 330,000 head. 7 to 799, 465,000 head. And 8 to 899 were 526,000 head. 9 to 999 were 305,000 and 1,000 pounds and bigger were 100,000 heads. So we do have some cattle, looks like, in that 8 to 9 weight range there that are going to be coming out towards that Feb board. So we might have might see a little bit of pressure at that latter Dece and the February board there. So we're just going to keep our eyes on this thing, and I think uh, most of it's going to boil down to how the uh, box beef market goes next week and what cash uh, averages out this week and where we go with cash next week, Susan. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much. Kyle Bumstead giving us a breakdown to the Friday Catalan Feed Report. I'm Susan Littlefield on the World Radio Network.